Hello everybody, welcome to by far the most important video I will ever make in my entire life. This is Northern Lion ranks all of the first gen Pokemon, including Alolan varieties and Mega Evolutions, on a tier list. The Roguelite tier list proved to be a very engaging video. We were brainstorming other tier lists to do on the NLSS. Here's one that's well within my area of expertise. So this was created by... Hunt Car 135 right here. Mad props for saving me a lot of legwork. I really appreciate it. We're going to be rating all these Pokemon from astounding, great, good, middle range, little bad, bad, really bad, or god awful, okay? If you're ready for that, I'm ready for that. It has 294 smiles and 97 shocked poops, which I think is a pretty good ratio. It's, it's better than some of my videos do. So what criteria am I going to be rating these Pokemon on? Uh, the coolness of their design, the enduring popularity of their character, and how, how much of an abomination to a benevolent creator they are. I'm sorry, the music, it's, it slaps so hard, but you need epic music for an epic video like this. Let's get started. Bulbasaur, look at this guy. He's cute. He's got big eyes. He's happy to be here. He's a starter. He's had an enduring legacy. It's not even close. Bulbasaur. Right off the bat, we're starting out an astounding. He's not even my favorite Gen 1 starter, but you got to give Bulbasaur an incredible amount of respect. Ivysaur. Previously, I've been of the opinion the middle generations of the starters in Gen 1 are the most awkward. Cute kid. Handsome adult, awkward teenage face. Ivysaur, this may surprise you, the coolest of the Gen 1 starter middle generation, middle evolution, and also present in Smash Bros. So I'm going to move Ivysaur up into the great tier. That's It would be good, but it's going up to great for the Smash Bros coefficient. Venusaur. There's nothing that can come close to capturing the emotion you feel as a child when your starter, who you've been with for your whole journey, finally evolves into peak form. Look at this. He's, he's, he's a monster. He's fighting in the super, super heavyweight division. He's got a freaking tree on his back. He shoots a solar beam out of his head. Welcome to Astounding. I'm going to be honest. This Pokemon Gen 1 is a little front-loaded. We're going to have some really good stuff at the front. Mega Venusaur, I don't even know what the heck you are. So, I'm, as a boomer who hates change, I think all Mega Evolutions are a little bad. <laughs> I don't know, I don't know what you do. Alright, Charmander. I mean, come on, dude. What are you supposed to do, say about Charmander? I don't, I don't think there's a single Gen 1 starter that doesn't end up in the Astounding tier, okay? I'm not going to be the guy who besmirches Charmander by, by putting them outside of the, the triple S tier. Charmeleon, though, he's a little awkward. It's, he's like, it's not just a phase. Stop showing people my baby photos. So I think Charmeleon, to be honest, it's a little spicy. I feel like I would put Charmeleon in just about the middle range there. It's the most controversial thing I've done so far, but I stand by it. Charizard. I'm going to level with you again. He's got to go into the outstanding range. Enduring legacy. He's a cool dragon. Before, after photo is on point. Plus, the most powerful Pokemon card ever made. I don't know. And then there's like two Charizard Mega Evolutions. I don't know, dude. These aren't Pokemon to me. These are Digimon. So I'm putting them down here in the Digimon tier. Squirtle. Squirtle's my boy. He's my favorite Pokemon. Um for my entire life. I'm still figuring it out now whether or not he's still my favorite Pokemon, but he, I mean, he's up there. You got to put Squirtle in the astounding tier. It's not even close. War Turtle, I got to be honest, still a little awkward. I don't think he quite comes to the Ivy Sword tier, but I think he's a little less awkward than Charmeleon, but I do wonder what the heck's going on. He's got like the 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 Wagner style helmet. On. You know, I, I might even, I hate to do it, I'm going to put Wartortle down here in the mini, or the middle range. I think these guys are, 
You know, they're two sides of the same coin. The surprising no one, I'm going to be honest, Blastoise is going up in the, in the astounding tier. He's the only Pokemon I can think of right now that has two guns, even if they do shoot water. You can also foresee that this Pokemon would have a lot of use in a real-life situation as like a firefighter or, you know, industrial uses that require a lot of water, for example. I gotta be honest, originally I was gonna put um, this Blastoise, you know, the Mega Blastoise into the Little Bad tier, but is that a vape? Does my man have a vape? On the back of him? What? It, or is that... Is it a uh, uh, 35mm artillery from, like, the First World War? I gotta be honest, this is god-awful. I don't... This is an abomination. <laughs> I don't know what this is. I, I don't know who this man is. Okay. So now, I'm sorry, Mega Blastoise. I apologize, but what 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 are you? You look like you, you have a cigarette dispenser on your back. Okay. Now we get into the meat and potatoes. Caterpie. Pros. Common. <laughs> um, not not a very impressive Pokemon in the whole scheme of things. He's a cutie. And you know what? I do like a Pokemon that changes a lot as it evolves. It doesn't just go like small, middle, big, you know? So this guy, he, go, he undergoes transformative changes. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put Caterpie. As far as I, he's a middling Pokemon. You put him in the middle range. Metapod, let's be honest. This Pokemon has no need to exist. He's a, exclusively a meme. If you're mad because you're like, he's a meme. Well, the fact that he's a really bad is why he's a meme. Which is, he's coming down here, okay? Metapod is, a, they, this Pokemon has no purpose on, on planet Earth or Johto for that reason. Um, Butterfree, though, here's the thing. Normally, might be, you know, down here in, like, the middle range. But I gotta be honest, two things elevate it. One, it's the first Pokemon I remember that could put uh, other Pokemon to sleep. That's pretty cool. I don't know if it's that meta-relevant. I don't really care. But, you know, you'd be playing against the AI. You put their Pokemon to sleep. Swap out, put in a freaking Dragonite. Send them to the stratosphere. Secondly... If you're around my age, you didn't cry when Ash frees the butterfly in the first Pokemon anime, you're a liar. This is a good Pokemon. Not quite great. I mean, looking at Ivysaur. I'm like, it's not quite Ivysaur's level, but it's it's good. Weedle. I gotta be honest, I'm putting Weedle in the bad tier. What's, what's my perspective? It's Caterpie, but it's less cool. It's just a less cool Caterpie. It's like, oh yeah, copy my homework, but don't make it too obvious. You failed. You made it too obvious. Kakuna is the same Pokemon as Metapod. It's a really bad Pokemon. It has no reason to exist on planet Earth. Beedrill. I'm just going to say it, okay? Beedrill is not as cool as uh, Butterfree. It did appear in Super Smash Bros. N64. And it does have... Stingers for hands, which is pretty cool. I'm gonna go ahead. You might not like this. I'm gonna put Beedrill over here in the little bad category. I feel like that's fair. I don't even know what you are. Angry Beedrill? I don't know what to say about you. I'm, I'm just gonna say that you are Beedrill 2.0. Pidgey? I'm realizing there's not that many Mega Evolutions. Okay, we're not going to be here for that long with Pokemon we don't understand. Pidgey. It's cute, you know? I, I like what it's got going on there. I think it is the superior basic bird Pokemon, in my personal opinion. Um, but I have to go ahead and say, you know... You, what do you, what do you, how do you feel when you encounter a Pidgey in Pokemon? feel a little bad. Um, Pidgey with... The current trendy haircut, that's in the bad tier. I don't respect it. You're just bragging. Also, can I tell you something? These, this is the same Pokemon. Pidgeot and Pidgeotto, they're the same Pokemon. Um, or Pidgeotto and Pidgeot, they're the same Pokemon. But here's the thing, Pidgeot at least has some merit as, as a powerful creature. So you're going up there. Middle teenage phase, no chance. I, I'm just going to be honest with you. I don't know what this is. I, 
It's I just see a pair of wings. I'm gonna say that that's god awful. All right, now you got two. You got a close competition here. You got Rattata and a Lolan Rattata. Rattata down here in the really bad category. Normal type Pokemon is automatic disrespect to a high degree. Normal might as well be called useless. Oh, but they have a lot of HP. I don't play the games like that, okay? I don't play them like that. Alolan Rattata is a little cooler because it has an accent. So I'm just going to say that that's slightly better. That's up here in the bad tier. Then you got Alolan Raticate and Raticate. Let me tell you. Radicate, still pretty bad. Alolan Radicate is a good Pokemon. You know why? Chubby Cheeks. I'm a sucker for the Chubby Cheeks. That puts you in the top 10 of current Pokemon. Spearow, just gonna be honest, I kind of look to you as just like a uh, worse version of Pidgey. I'm gonna move it. I gotta admit, you got a little style, but I'm, you're a little edgy for me, okay? So I'm putting Spearow down in the bad category. You're like Ben Solo. And you're Ray, okay? I actually, if that were true, I would reverse these tiers greatly, but... And then Fero, it's just an awkward looking creature, okay? It's a very formidable bird. I would even put it in real bad. To be honest with you. It's the, it's the neck. Look at this. It's a very weak point. In any Pokemon battle, if you went for the neck, you would toast them. No problem. Okay. Ekans. Let me hit you with this one. Ekans. I'm a fan. Put Ekans in the in the middle range. Why? Um, there's not too many snakes in the Pokemon universe. And it's named backwards the snake. And then Arbok. Yo. Arbok is a great Pokemon. Without any doubt whatsoever. It's got cool little markings on it. And it inspires fear. Like this is a Pokemon where if you saw it in the real world. You would be like oh I gotta go. This is They're gonna make a movie about this event. So I think we would put uh, Arbok up here. Astounding? Not quite. Pikachu? What can you say? Here's the thing. What I love, do I think Pikachu is an overrated Pokemon? It's plastered on every lunchbox. Uh, they have whole cafes in Japan dedicated. They're making pancakes with the burnt ears. Sure, it's everywhere. But I still gotta say, Pikachu is an astounding Pokemon. If you don't have some kind of emotional connection to Pikachu, you're around my age, you grew up with Pokemon, I, I'm sorry, I think that you're lying. Then you got an interesting one here. There's a reason Pikachu is the mascot of the franchise, okay? You got Alolan Raichu and Raichu. I gotta put Raichu in the good range, I would say. I was always excited when a Pikachu became a Raichu. It's a formidable thunder type against the AI in red, blue, and yellow. Alolan Raichu, I'm gonna keep you in the middle range, okay? Because the thing is, I don't think, you're, when you come second, you got a big hoop. You gotta be better than the the originator if you want to get the same level of respect are you i don't think so design is obviously a little derivative but you're surfing so that moves you out that moves you out of the the little bad tier into the middle range in my opinion okay alolan sandshrew cute as a button that's that's a good pokemon abs i you know i i searched my heart that's a great pokemon and can I hit you with something else? Sandshrew? That's a great Pokemon right there. There's two great Pokemon. You did a great job on the Alolan forms. And Sandshrew, he's a hard worker. Didn't you see the episode where he's in the the, uh, the Olympic training gym? That's, that's a good Pokemon. And I gotta tell you, it's one of those evolutions where I think cute starter or cute, uh, you know, first evolution kind of grow into, in my opinion, not that, uh, not that useful or cute of an adult. Sand Slash, I think he's in the middle range here. And I gotta be honest, that Alolan Sand Slash needs to work on his high intensity interval training a little bit. I, I might even toss him down here in the bad category. But base form, cute as a button. Alright, so you're this is this is Nid Arena. I don't even know like what you are. You're like a gopher or a, like a purple hamster or something. It's weird. You're like you're really bad. <laughs> 
If I, I might even say you're god awful. I'm sorry. Inevitably, we're gonna ruffle some people's feathers. But I, you know, if you wanna do it like that, I think they're both god awful. I don't really, I don't really get these Pokemon. I don't know what they're doing. Um, and then like the, I'm gonna be honest, the middle generations are really bad. And then like, you know, Nidda King and Nidda Queen, you're just kind of like a little bad. I, I don't really. I don't really understand you, to be honest. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what you do. Figure out what you do and then get back to me. Okay, Clefairy. This creature has a, a... There's an aura of mystique surrounding it. What's it doing up there at Mount Moon? What's going on with the ears? It's got Pikachu's ears, but a cinnamon, cinnamon bun hairstyle. It's a psychic type, and innately, the, well, no, it might be a fairy type now. I don't know if that existed back when I played the first. Anyway, the point is, it, it, it's steeped in otherworldly, mysterious sort of, is, it has an aura around it. So I'm here to tell you that Clefairy, that's, I would even say Clefairy is a great Pokemon. And then Clefable, I'm going to put you down here in like the little bad range. What's your justification for that? Come on. Like, it's like you had to have... Two extra Pokemon before the deadline. This is the same Pokemon. I'm sorry to tell you. Clefable? Little bad. Didn't deliver on the promise of the prequel. Alolan? Vulpix. I'm gonna say that this is a good Pokemon. I'm not stingy giving out the goods. But Vulpix? That's a great Pokemon. That's an iconic Gen 1 Pokemon. Just shy of the very top. Alolan Ninetales? And nine tails. I see no reason. Oh, this is a bop, dude. I see no reason to rock the boat. I think this is an evolution they got pretty much right. Jigglypuff, this is an astounding Pokemon. Everything is working in Jigglypuff's favor. Mysterious Aura. Cute as a button. Puts people to sleep. It's a troll in the anime. And is in, like, all the Smash Bros. How could I not put you up here? Now, Wigglytuff. You got a little Clefairy, Clefable sort of situation going on here. I'm going to be honest. If I saw a Jigglypuff, it would melt my heart. If I saw a Wigglytuff, I would think, where's... What happened? So you're, I'm going to put you down in the... I might even put you in bad. I'm sorry to say. Zubat. That's uh, pretty much a god-awful Pokemon. And then there's like, what What the heck is this? It's just the second Zubat. It's the same picture. You're, you're in the god-awful tier down here. You're, it, it, beyond being useless, you're hard to catch, okay? And that's, that's in Pokemon Go, that's... I, if I see a Zubat, I won't even try to catch it. It's not even worth it. Now, Golbat, on the other hand. This is one where I'm like, the evolution is a glow-up. I think Golbat is a middle-range Pokemon. I respect a Pokemon that's 95% mouth. Oddish? That's a good Pokemon. Cute as a button. Also puts enemies to sleep. Uh, Gloom? I'm gonna be honest. Oh, he's kind of weirding me out. You want to talk about awkward teenage phases? Gloom? A little, little weird. It's kind of a strange creature, wouldn't you wouldn't you suggest? What's, what's coming out of its mouth? A little bit of sleep powder? But I'll level with you. I think Gloom has a cool design. So Gloom stays in the middle range. And then I kind of feel like Vile Plume is like right there. It's like Gloom embraced its awkwardness and grew it into like a unique style. You know what? I'm actually I'm gonna do it like this because I think they're stratified. Oddish, great Pokemon. Gloom. Little weird. Vile plume. Acceptable. Paris. I think you're pretty cool. I, th I think Paris is a good Pokemon. It's the big eyes, I gotta admit. Parasect. Really bad. Uh, this Pokemon just frightens me. It, it, it haunts my dreams. And I, uh, I, I remain afeard of it to this very day. Venonat. I'm, I'm stunned I remember all these. Venonat, here's the thing. 
Cute? Yes. Inspired? No. Useful? Not really. You're a bad Pokemon, Ven and Adam. Sorry to say. You, 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 you're a cutie, don't get me wrong. Not that impressive, though. Venomoth? Uh, is just Butterfree copied? It's just a copied Butterfree? I don't respect it. Where the heck did Butterfree go? I was looking up here. Butterfree? A uh, butter... You, I thought... Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Bad Butterfree. Stay in the bad category where you belong. Original Diglett. Iconic Pokemon. Alolan Diglett. An affront to people suffering from male pattern baldness the world over. Three Homer Simpson hairs at the top of his head. Are you kidding me? Dog Trio. Default. I have to admire it in the middle range just for its weirdness. Uh, Alolan Dog Trio is just unbelievable. That's they they went for it, and I respect that. This this is a joke, and I'm okay with that. This is too close to home. Meowth, you gotta put Meowth up. I I, I never thought Meowth was that. Cool, but he does play a big role in the anime. He's the only Pokemon that can speak English, apparently. And, um, you know what's weird? I always was like, Meowth, he's so, like, obsessed with coin. Why are there no other Pokemon obsessed with coin? Are you telling me this guy is scratching you? He's taking your money, he's going into the store and buying stuff? Why does he buy himself some rare candy so he's not so garbage? But, I, in terms of lasting legacy, you get to stay in the good category, okay? Uh, Alolan Meowth? Like, what are you? Your whiskers go up more. I don't know. I think, I gotta be honest, I think you're really bad. I don't really have a good reason for it. Persian? Pretty much the same boat. I'm like, this Pokemon? It's a little bad. But then, like, Alolan Persian? I'm like, you're, you know, enjoy each other's company. Psyduck is an astounding Pokemon. This might, Psyduck is pretty close to being my favorite Pokemon. To be honest, my man is just, he's overwhelmed at all times, and he's just trying to keep it together. And I think as an adult, that's very relatable. As an adult, I, I look at Psyduck and I say, there's a little Psyduck in each one of us, to be honest. Just trying to, you know, get through the day with the spa music without exploding on everybody else around us. Now, Golduck, I don't really know what, what your thing is. Yeah, you don't you don't inspire anything in me, so I'm gonna leave you in the bad category, to be honest. Mankey, you know, is a monkey that punches. This might be the most normal Pokemon I can think of. I I do respect Prime Ape a little bit more because it evolved boxing gloves, which I think is just uh, natural selection at its finest. It's pretty incredible to evolve a piece of sports equipment right into your genome. Um, but not a particularly impressive Pokemon. Let's be realistic here. Growlithe as a cutie. That's an S-tier Pokemon. Welcome to the Astounding tier. Arcanine. I think I got these guys reversed, but you know what I mean. Arcanine. Gra they're, just, they're, they're great Pokemon. They're, they, honestly... If Arcanine and Growlithe had, had been one of the starting generations instead of Charmander and Charizard, they would have the same or greater level of fervor for them, is my opinion. They're already pretty popular. Okay, now we're getting into the a slightly more difficult part of the map here, alright? Polly Wag. It's kind of cool. I might even say this is a good Pokemon. I like the, the, the starting level of the Pokemon for the most part. Then you got like Poliwhirl. And it's like, I, I like that you evolved the gloves. You have an iconic design. But it's a little, what like what are you at this point? You're just kind of like a circle with the design on it. And then like, I gotta be honest, I think it's god awful. You just, it's the same Pokemon is just taller. I don't respect when the evolutions just get taller. It's not... Well, okay, I do in this case with Arcanine and Growlithe, but, you know. A broken watch is right twice a day. Or something. Anyway, like, what are you? 
You just got a TV for his stomach. Abra. This Pokemon, in my opinion, it's a little bad. Nah, you know what? It's a middle range Pokemon. Because when you find it in the game, again, it's steeped in that aura. And you know the power within it for what it can become. But it's annoying to catch. And also, like, his base level, it doesn't do anything. Just kind of like, hello. It's me. I'm Abra. See you later. Big whoop. Anybody can do that. Kadabra? Is that your name? <laughs> Kadabra? Yo, that's a good Pokemon, okay? That's, that's a strong Pokemon. It's a Pokemon capable of bending your psyche to his will. And then Alakazam, as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to stop just... I'm going to put him in the great category, okay? Any Pokemon that's also able to compete in the 2020 World Beard and Mustache Championships and also is welcome at any restaurant because he brings his own cutlery is cool with me. Plus, he emanates a very powerful psychic aura, I cannot deny. What is this? Is this even a Pokemon? Or is this like... It looks like a logo for a cult. You're god-awful. Okay, now we're getting into the real, the real stuff. Okay, Machop. It's a middle range Pokemon. You know, he's, he's got the hard taco shells on his head. It's a taste of what's to come. Machoke, that's a good Pokemon. Look at this, you can't really see it that well. But this Pokemon evolved a championship belt from the WWE. If that's not nature's hubris, I don't know what is. And I'm here to tell you. Machoke? <laughs> Wait, I got I, I got them wrong again. That's Machamp, right? No, that's Machoke. Machamp? This is like the greatest Pokemon. Because he's like, he's super big. He's super muscly. He has four arms. He's got the taco holders. But he also seems like so uh, gentle, you know? It's like whenever I look at this picture uh, of Machoke, I always just picture him, or Machamp, sorry. I always just picture him petting four cats. You've seen the image, I'm sure. It's a great Pokemon. It's just Goro, but I respect it. All right, now these are the weird ones, dude. Bellsprout. You're like, honestly, I think you're really bad. You are a strange looking creature. This is just god awful. I don't, <laughs> it's... Weeping Bell is just an absolute disaster. I hope whoever came up with this creature at uh, Game Freak, the Pokemon company, was reprimanded very harshly um, for this design. I think it's. I think this might be the worst Pokemon. This might be the worst of all Pokemon, in my opinion. I'm not being insincere. And then, like, you're just a little bit better. I'm gonna be honest, you're still pretty bad. I don't know, you're all like weird eggplants to me. I don't, I don't respect it. This jellyfish is also really bad. I don't like jellyfish to begin with, this is one of the worst. It just, it looks like uh, you put a pillowcase on top of a helium balloon and send it into the wild. But I kind of respect this jellyfish tend to cruel because it's like it's so menacing looking that I think that's it, it elevates it a little bit. So it's the lullaby song. Okay, how many more Pokemon we got here? Not that many. Not that many. We're we're chunking through it pretty quick. A Lowland Geo dude. I I think you're a little bad. <laughs> I just don't know what's coming out of your head, you know? And I'll be doing just fine. Uh, is it like weird hair? You should save, you should shave that, is just my honest take. I'll always go with the bald version. I think normal Geodude might be controversial. I actually think this might be a middle range Pokemon, my personal take. Uh, Geodude's cool, but could be better. Now, I gotta be honest, Alolan Graveler? That's a good Pokemon. Because it kind of looks like he is, first off, Eugene Levy eyebrows. Secondly, little pieces of corn. I just, I, I like the look of it. I don't know what to say. I don't know what it says about me. Regular Graveler, not that impressive. I'm going to be honest, I think he's a little bad. Now, Golem. I'm telling you, if you caught this guy in a candid pose, this would be a bad Pokemon. But he's so excited. He's so circular. 
I do wonder, I, I mean, I put him in the good tier for a reason, but I, I, I do wonder, what's up if he falls over? Like, is there any way for him to get back up? Or is he like a turtle? He's got tiny arms and legs. Now, check this out, dude. Uh, this may surprise you. A lowland golem is in the S, well, A tier, because it has a gun on his back. It shoots rocks into the air. And in Pokemon Go, when you tap it, it goes... And it shoots... That's, that's enough. That's all you need. I respect any Pokemon with a gun. I just don't respect Pokemon that are made of jewels. Alright. Here's where things are going to get a little spicy. Both horses, in my opinion, a little bad. Never been a horse guy. Um... Never really been that in interested in the horses. And fire type is kind of... Someone tells you they're into fire types. You go, yeah, okay. What else do you like? Consuming matter and breathing oxygen? I don't think it's that cool. I think I think little bad is acceptable. Yeah, you know what? Okay, sorry. I'm going to put Ponyta in the middle range. But this is not based on Ponyta's design. It's based on the video that that kid posted where he catches the shiny Ponyta. And, he, you know, he's got 15 Game Boys set up. That's how that works. All right. Slow poke. I like this Pokemon. That's my justification. This is a good Pokemon. He's a good boy. Slow bro. I like, as far as I know, this is the only instance of a symbiotic relationship in any uh, of the Gen 1 Pokemon. I'm going to put that up in the good tier. Much like Psyduck, I relate to Slowpoke and Slowbro. Because they're just love and life. Great meme potential. I don't know what you are. So I'm going to say that you're probably god awful. <laughs> um, Alright, Magnemite. This is a, I wouldn't even say it's a good Pokemon. I like Magnemite. He's one of a kind, Cycloptic, but I gotta say, Magneton. That's a great Pokemon. What's my reasoning here? One of the highest DPS uh, electric types in Pokemon Go. Well, actually, you need Magnezone for that, but Magnezone I kind of disrespect. I like I like a, a, a Pokemon that forms a collective. Farfetched. I have to level with you. This is another great Pokemon. I'm I'm supremely thrilled they gave him an evolution. I love that he is always drawn with the spring onion. It's not a part of him, but they all have one. Have you ever seen one without one? I've never seen one without them. Plus, Eugene Levy eyebrows. That's a big plus. Uh, Doe Duo. That's a bad Pokemon. Never excited to see it. Seems like it might be a more of an impedance than an advantage. And Doe Trio. There's a theme here. You go from one to three, cool evolution. Two to three, I sleep. Uh, so I'm going to tell you straight up. Seal. I think he's a little bad. Dugong. I think he's really bad. Why? It's the same Pokemon. Couldn't you just... It, give him a, like, some kind of defining feature here, right? It, that's just my personal opinion, but, I mean, so is the whole video. Um, so there's, there's Muck. What's the other one? I forget. You know, let me look this one up. It's the first Pokemon I, I have not gotten correct here, okay? Muck Pokemon. Just give it a sec. No, not Pokemon on Mac. The Pokemon named Muck. Muck. It evolves from Grimer. Okay. So Grimer. This is perhaps a god awful Pokemon. In my opinion. It's just a it's just purple nothing. And then the Alolan version gave it a beard. Big whoop. Um Muck still god awful. I'm gonna move uh Alolan Muck into the good 
range. I respect the Lolan muck. I respect your position. And I respect you you're wearing it proudly. Shelder. This is an uncomfortable Pokemon. This Pokemon is an emoji. I'm going to say that Shelder is a bad Pokemon. And Cloyster is substantial. This is a god. I know we're filling up god awful a lot. But we're getting into the back half of the Pokemon. It's a god awful Pokemon. You can't get one by me, Nintendo. I know what I'm looking at here, okay? Don't try to sneak that into my games. This is an interesting one, okay? Ghastly is a cool Pokemon. I would even say it's a good Pokemon. Haunter, kind of a weird Pokemon. I'm going to be honest. I think you're in the middle range. You're a ghost. You carry some mystique. That keeps you out of the bad tiers. Gengar. With no doubt in my mind, Gengar is an astounding Pokemon. It's look at this little trickster. He could be up to anything. You wouldn't even know it. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, he's eating your dreams. He just ate your dreams. Kiss American Idol goodbye. What the heck are you? I don't know. God awful. Onyx, you're you're in the bad tier. And I know this is a well-liked Pokemon. They didn't give you an evolution this game. And you're not holding the spring onion. As a result, I don't respect you. I don't even respect Steelix. It's just a longer snake. Anyway. Um, Drowsy. You're, you're like... I'm going to be honest. I think you're a little bad. And I think Hypno is is bad. Full on bad. I do... You know, I'm, I'm elevating Drowsy to the middle range. Because I respect the Pokemon that evolved pants. And I do not respect... I mean, I'm moving Hypno down to really bad. He unevolved pants in order to get one of those weird Shakespearean bibs. Not respectable. Krabby. That's a middle range Pokemon if I've ever seen one. Kingler. I think this is a good Pokemon. He has one incredibly large claw. In fact, some would say it's even too large. Also, Crabhammer, one of the highest DPS water moves in Pokemon Go. Uh, Voltorb. You're like a little bad. You're just a you're a you're a, a ball. But you know what? Middle range because you you've evolved mimicry to mimic pokeballs. Electrode just absolutely you know. I, be honest with you, I think Electrode is god awful. I it's the same Pokemon plus it looks a little bit too much like cartoon depictions of my face. Another god awful Pokemon, Execute, is just six eggs. But it raises so many questions. Does the one egg always come broken? What happens if you pick up one of the eggs and throw it away? Does it get weaker? Does it still control the egg further away? This is a bad Pokemon. It doesn't make any any sense at all. Execute? I would even say this is a good Pokemon. This is a good evolution. And his heads are coconuts. They're not going anywhere. Unlike these loose eggs. Don't even come in a freaking carton. And then, if there is no greater sense of the word astounding than Alolan Executor. He's he's as tall as a tree. Can't even see his face. Cubone. No joke, Q, Cubone always makes me a little, a little sad. Think about the Cubone story. I think that's a great Pokemon. Look at him standing proudly to face all the, the strife of adult life. <laughs> Marowak. I'm going to level with you. It's the same Pokemon. You're going down to the middle range. Alolan Marowak. I, you know, I just you think you're a little bad. Hitmonlee, also a little bad. Just the way that you uh, kind of look frightens me. It's like you got a suit of armor on. I don't like it. However, Hitmonchan, I think this is a good Pokemon. Again, I, re I respect the Pokemon that evolves clothes and sports equipment. Lickitung. It's, it, I mean, honestly, you're, I'm going to put you in bad, but I hate you. I, I hate to look at you. I hate to think about what you're doing with that thing. No, thank you. I would rather not. Coughing. I think it's a middle range Pokemon. Weezing. I think it's also a middle range Pokemon. I think it, it's an evolution. There's just two of them stuck together. But one of the heads is tinier. 
So I respect that. They at least tried to rock the boat. I don't care who's asking, dude. Rhydon, that's a cutie. That's that's a great Pokemon. Uh, Rhyhorn, that's merely a good Pokemon, in my opinion. But Rhyperior is an S-tier Pokemon because he evolves armor and, like, ammo pouches and stuff. Chansey, I'm going to... I'm going to put you in the good tier because you serve a purpose as the egg carrier. Puss is one of the most helpful Pokemon. Does it make me a little uncomfortable to look at this abomination? Yes, but hey, they are as God made them. Tangela. You really don't have any evolutions, Tangela? Not, not until later, I guess. I don't know. I kind of think Tangela is a little cool. Just like a little bit of... A little bit of hair and some eyeballs. You palette swap that, you got spaghetti and meatballs. I support this. Kangaskhan. I like this Pokemon. I would even say this is a great Pokemon. Because it's got the little baby Pokemon in the center. I gotta tell you. Apparently this is a mega evolution. Mother and child fighting together. I'm astounded. Welcome to the astounding tier. You're in esteemed company. Uh, Horsey as the most average Pokemon and then it evolves to be sharper. That's the same creature. I say no. Goldine, you are a really bad Pokemon. You just flop around. Sea King is a little bad. It doesn't even look like a Pokemon. Like, I know that this is a ridiculous statement but like Goldine looks like it belongs in the world of Pokemon. Yeah, I'm putting you down here. I might even put you in God Awful. No, let's not go crazy. Goldeen looks like an illustration in the world of Pokemon. This looks like an 18th century drawing of a fish that they saw in the wild. There's something about it. Like, this is too biological. Compare that, compare these two creatures. They're from the same video game. I don't buy it. Really bad. Star, me? I think this is a good Pokemon. It's iconic. But Star U, that's a great Pokemon. I like this evolution. Because they took one, and then they put one behind it. Rotated. It's so much more powerful. Plus, it can, like, fly, which makes no sense. But I'm for it for whatever reason. Mr. Mime is just a, an affront to all that is holy. This is one of the Pokemon. You cannot convince me this Pokemon was in the game... Until there were like 147 Pokemon. <laughs> this is a Pokemon that had to be added at the last minute. Or I don't respect it. Scyther? I'm going to be honest. I had you between great and astounding. I'm going to keep you in great for now. You're a terrifying creature. And I respect that. Fun Pokemon. Also existed in Smash Bros. 64. Jinx is uh, of an abomination. Please spare me the essay. I understand what Jinx was inspired by. It didn't turn out. This is perhaps the strangest of all, of all Pokemon. Um, Electabuzz. I gotta honestly just toss you down here in like the bad category. You, there's a, kind of a recurring theme. A lot of the bad Pokemon are just what appears to be, and you know what? Hypno would fit in this camp as well. They're just, uh, they appear to be men in ill-fitting costumes. Like any bipedal creature with a chubby belly pretty much ends up in the bad tier. Like, but Electabuzz is, he looks like a professional wrestler in a onesie. But not like now when they're all roided out, like back in the 70s when they didn't care. Um, I'm going to be honest, I think Magmar is exactly the same. I'll, I'll elevate him to little bad just because he's got those crazy eyebrow ridges, you know? What's he doing with those? What's he storing in those? Well, he's storing mortar in those, as you're well aware. Uh, Pinsir. That's a great Pokemon as far as I'm concerned. Why is it a great Pokemon? Because it's the only Pokemon that inspired real terror. It's a very scary looking creature. Whatever the heck this is, I don't know. So welcome to God Awful. Taurus, I'm going to be honest, this is a little bad. Might be slightly controversial. This Pokemon inspires no emotion in me whatsoever. Normal types, dude, get out of here. Magikarp, it's a great Pokemon. 
He has a crown. He has a mustache. He does nothing. Except he evolves into Gyarados. A truly astounding Pokemon. With an unfortunate four times weakness to lightning. But if you got the first Gyarados in your fifth grade class, you were a superstar. And that's an astounding thing in and of itself. I don't know what you are. Welcome to Mega Evolution tier. Lapras, I was going to be honest. I was going to put you in the good tier. But I hate this angle. What is, what is this Instagram angle? You're going into the middle range, okay? Ditto. It's another astounding Pokemon. It, ditto is cute as a button. And the ditto forms of every other Pokemon, also cute as a button. Eevee. I cannot deny cute as a button as well. A lot of lasting legacy. It deserves to be up there with Pikachu. Vaporeon. The least cool of all the Eevee evolutions from Gen 1. Still good. Jolteon. The coolest. That's a great. No astounding, but great. Flareon. Honestly, I would lie. You're actually a little bit worse than uh, Vaporeon, in my opinion. You're just like a freaking worse version of Growlithe, dude. Get out of here. Porygon. What the heck even are you? Are you a food? Are you a crystal? Are you a computer chip? Nobody knows. But you win them at the arcade. That's just kind of a strange thing to me. That you could purchase a living animal at an arcade. So you know what? I'm confused enough to put you in the good tier. Uh, Omastar. Wait. Omanyte. <laughs> Omanyte? You're pretty cool. I like You got like a sweet little mustache there. I'm going to put you in the good tier as well. Um, this creature, absolutely, like a little bad, but I think the design is fine. It's mostly just that it's scary, but not scary in the same way as Pinsir. Pinsir is like, he's going to eat you. This guy is like, I'm going to eat your soul. So I'm putting him down here out of fear. Uh, Kabuto, it's a middle range Pokemon. He's not really doing much. The eyes are a little entrancing. Kabutops, it's a good Pokemon. This thing's a freaking... Like, what is it doing here? It's got swords for hands? It's got a spaceship head? Oh, screw that, dude. I'm putting it up in the great tier. I'll be honest with you. Aerodactyl? You're a little bad. Why is Aerodactyl a little bad? There's three much cooler birds coming right up. By the time you're getting an Aerodactyl, you're usually like, come on, well, couldn't you have just been Moltres? Uh... So, I can actually judge this one. You look like Grumpy Aerodactyl. I'm going to say that you're in the bad tier. Snorlax is an S-tier Pokemon. You notice something about the S-tier? A lot of them, pretty relatable. Gyarados, not so much. Snorlax, this is a great... Look at it. He's, he's just trying to enjoy his Sunday. He's been eating corn-based salty snacks all day and the, the doorbell's just rung. If that's not a relatable Pokemon, I don't know what is. Plus, the power within him, one, once awakened, is incredible. Okay, the legendary birds. Articuno is a great Pokemon. One of my favorite legendary birds. You know, there's not that many cool ice types, dude, so I respect that. Zapdos is a great Pokemon. I like a sharp bird. He's like Firo, but useful. Moltres. I'm going to be honest. I think you're only a good Pokemon. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say it. I have an innate disrespect for fire types to some extent. Apparently. I I just like Articuno and, and Zapdos more. Dratini. is a great Pokemon. Uh, Dragonair. A little bad. How does that happen? It's the same Pokemon. They just gave it a hat. Dragonite? What the heck happened here, dude? I don't know. It's uh, age 7? Age 15? Age 35? You're not, you're not even for the same DNA anymore. This is a weird Pokemon to me. Because I Dragonite, very powerful in Pokemon Go. Um, very powerful in the first-gen Pokemon games. A high evolution of a rare Pokemon, but also just a little goofy looking. I feel like you can't put this in the middle. I think I got I gotta put Dragonite. I don't know, it's so complicated. This is a tough one. I gotta say Dragonite is like a little bad. Very useful, but also very goofy. I, that's gonna be maybe the most controversial of all. 
All right, Mewtwo. I mean, come on, this is an S tier Pokemon. But I'm gonna t put it down to A tier just because it's a little too edgy for me. His favorite uh, magician is Chris Angel. Don't respect it. This is Mewtwo uh, wearing one of those pillows you wear when you want to fall asleep on the airplane. That's absolutely god awful. I can't even. What the heck is this? this is Mewtwo, but it's like got one of the weird Frieza. It doesn't matter. I guess god awful. Mew. What even, like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put you up here in, like, the good range, but what do you do? Like, I just, you just show up and you push sparkles everywhere, and then everyone's happy again. I don't respect it. There's my list. There's my list. The astounding Pokemon. Bulbasaur, Venusaur, Charmander, Charizard, Squirtle, Blastoise, Pikachu, Jigglypuff, Psyduck, Growlithe and Arcanine, Machamp, Gengar, Alolan Execute, Kangaskhan Mega Evolution, I think, Ditto, Eevee, and Snorlax. If you got a problem with that, leave a comment below. For now, thanks again to Tear Maker and Huntcar135. Please explain to me what this Blastoise is. If you enjoyed the tier list, subscribe and click the like button. It helps out a great deal. I'm looking to make some more silly content in the future. For now, thanks for watching. I look forward to seeing where I've gone terribly wrong, and I'll see you next time. See ya!